Odyssey Ears, Mike Martin's here with the Mike Martin's channel. Thanks for joining me, being part of the channel. Today, I'm going to set up a really small, efficient solar panel set to use year-round emergency, emergency docking uh, charging bays, the whole nine yards. So let's take a look at what I have to work with. Okay, well, this is it right here. This, this faces the sun when it rises, and the other side of the shed faces it when it's setting over there and the shed is very strong it's got uh, metal framing inside I'm not gonna climb on the roof I'm just gonna step up just to install the panels and run the wiring through so I want a very basic charging system in case we do it's 2021 end of October I got this shelf cleared off so I could place my battery my inverter and have everything basically uh, ready to go. Again, it's got metal framing inside, it's strong. I'm not climbing the roof, just gonna be laying the panels and running the wire through. So this is what I got here. So a lot of storage here. I'm gonna run a light up top. I do have this lighting, but at night you can't see anything. So I'm gonna run a light up top. I might move my charging system here for my, all my Ryobi uh, tools to charge and have it basically working off the sun and have some exterior lights year round. So today I'm using the Coleman, the Coleman 40 watts. I got two of these babies and I'm gonna run them in sync. Uh, I picked up one of these outlets. I'm gonna bolt one of these up just to have more plugs and stuff. We got the Eliminator here was on sale for 100 bucks, 1500 watts, and that's all, it's pretty much all I need for that. And it does have a USB, but I'm going to be getting a panel, uh, a panel, a guide panel that shows you what's coming in and out, and it's got more USBs on it. Very inexpensive, maybe $18 I paid on Amazon for. I'll be getting that in later, but I'm going to set this up basically for you guys to see. There's a switch right there with the plug. I got these, remember these come one in a package. To connect my uh, battery to my uh, inverter and these are to connect I don't have to splice wires when I saw these I was so happy to see this because I don't have to splice wires and I'm gonna be mounting it very simply I'm using a very simple mount system I couldn't find the proper brackets but I'm gonna be screwing it in just like so right here watch this I'm gonna try to do this with one hand folks there it is so basically the bracket would sit here uh, on the on the on the screw so the bracket would sit on the screw like so the panel will sit on the screw like where my finger is and it will hold it in place you don't need too many it doesn't get that windy uh, up here we do get gusts of wind but it's not uh, full time it's more in the summer we get a little bit more wind picks up but that's it right there we got 350 days of sun here and I'm gonna take advantage of that uh, it doesn't get cold till pretty much mid-December and second week of March is already spring here So we got uh, we got four seasons here All right, so there it is. I installed the first panel didn't take me more than 15 minutes. I use these washers And let me tell you man Once I put the top ones on this thing sat in here. This thing won't move. This thing won't go anywhere It's nice and fastened and it's easy to remove if I want to Go portable with this for some reason, or if I have to go or I have to leave, I could always take this with me. It, it's 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 good. It's mounted on here, ready to go. I'm gonna throw a hole in here, run the wiring through. I'm gonna put a panel on the other side of this so I can catch the sun setting too. All right, second second panel is put up, brought through. Now I'm gonna hang this wire later, uh, just to do a check to make sure. We are getting power to the from the panels. Okay, so there we go. We can see it here. And this is a solar charge controller, which is really good to have. So you don't overcharge the battery or, you know what I'm saying, run into a major electrical issues. Remember guys, I am a, a noob at this. So you're just doing it with me for the first time. <laughs> I don't know, I don't like how that sounded, but negatives here ready to go. Positives ready to go. These marine batteries are really good for that. I'm ready to, now um, I'm gonna plug in the negative and the positive to my um, digital power inverter. I wanna give it the proper name. There it is right there. 1500 watts is more than what I need. 
There's a switch there for it. I'm going to put the power bar here for it so I can plug stuff into it and get it rolling, basically. I'm very excited. We're not getting much sun right now, but we are getting... It is sending a signal, so we know we are on track. So remember, guys, this is the first time. If there's any comments you want to leave below, leave them below so I know what I'm doing wrong. If I'm doing anything wrong, I'd like to know. Please correct me in the comments. So there it is right there. So I'm going to plug this all in and then show you guys how this baby works. Okay, folks, the solar system is done. It's working, and I'm very excited to show you guys what I got done. So panels were put on earlier today nice and fastened they ain't going anywhere and it's slanted right now see this is the sun sunset right now we're getting into sunset mode we're picking up on this side now and on the registry here it shows you which one's picking up and which one is just stagnant in the shade so this gives you a really good indication of where you're at uh, with who's charging what and where it's coming from now um batteries all okay everything's good we we checked that out we went over it double checked it with the multimeter making sure it had power the inverter is working so good we had to change the one we had earlier it just major issues something was wrong with it so we took it back and we got this new one it is 2000 watts instead it, it's a lot better it's a lot cleaner it, it just looks more sleek it fits here nicely and it's got two usb slots and there's our plugged in is our power bar and i wired in a light for you guys to show you guys this is going to run night lights every night led lights that i got flood lamps for the backyard and there you go should be running on 7 watts. It's going to give it a second to register. 777. It's a 7 watt bulb. There it is. Right there. Exactly what it's measured to. 7 watts. So there it is. I'm going to run that one. That's got a, um, a uh, what you might call it, uh, Bluetooth on it with speakers. So I'm going to run that one and get, play some music while I'm in here and stuff. But there it is right there. So basically, taking the power of the sun on the panels, bringing it in to these little uh charge con solar charge controllers and from the solar charge controllers to the battery from the battery to the inverter the inverter to the power bar you don't have to put a power bar if you just want to plug in things here and from the power and then a uh, emergency kill switch and there it is right there so i'm going to mount everything ground everything properly in the next week or so and there it is right there it's complete i'm very happy very excited and uh that this is working and again it's for emergency purposes when the poop if the poop hits the fan or they start rationing electricity or some bizarro crap remember it is 2021 it is the end of october or almost in november and yeah there's all kinds of bizarro crap happening around the world and you know what i'm talking about so there it is right there very simple system basically from panels to inverter or not inverter to uh, basically, uh, charge controller to battery, battery to inverter, inverter to power bar, power bar to everything. And I'm learning it as I go along. I'm, I'm, I'm a junior solar, solarologist, so just learning it as we go along. So thanks for watching, folks. Let me know what you guys think. There it is, this. That one, that's the one that should be flashing right now, giving indication that it's charging the battery. And I'm going to probably pick up a couple of, uh, they also have a couple of 150 watt panels. I might pick up two of them. They're on sale too. And put one and two on each side and maybe extend my battery bank to run in series with an extra battery to give me more juice or power or to maybe give out a bigger load if, 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 if the load is necessary. If I want to run a fridge or something or emergency, you never know, right? So... You can always run a power bar from out there into the house if if required, if power is required in rooms and stuff. You never know. So today I did get a few things done also. My rain thingy, I drained it out and we're going to clean it out uh, tomorrow. We're going to finally clean this out. This is to catch rain and I use it in emergencies in case something happens with the water. You could always boil this water. You could filter it with a Brita filter. It's, it's rain water. And my wood arrived, and it's breaking my little woodshed. So this is for emergencies. We got uh, two fireplaces in the house that burn wood. 
So we're ready to go with this at any times, any, any moments notice. So we pretty much have enough for the season here. It's stacked in double rows, so quite a bit of wood if we need it. And that's it. Uh, garden's already dug up. Uh, we took whatever corn that was, uh, we didn't get much corn this year, but we got everything else and we're pretty much cleaning this up now. And that's it. We got our smoker ready to smoke some Portuguese chorizo. And we're doing good here on the homestead. And this is, I can sleep better at night knowing I have this covered. You never know anymore. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Look forward to reading your comments. Thank you.